The next question, the member for London West. Uh, thank you very much, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Speaker, my community is experiencing the biggest COVID outbreak of the pandemic at London Health Sciences Centre. 13 new outbreak-linked cases were reported among LHSC staff and patients over the weekend, bringing the total cases to 65. Two patients who acquired COVID in the hospital have died, their families shocked and grieving. On Friday, the Middlesex London Health Unit issued a letter to the hospital with 25 instructions on strict measures that must be taken to get the outbreak under control. Speaker, will the Premier commit to providing whatever supports and resources are needed by the hospital to ensure compliance with these critical public health directives? Mr. Health. Well, I thank the member very much for the question. This is a serious concern and one that we're keeping daily contact with. The, uh, Dr. Mackey, the local medical officer of health uh, for the London area. Uh, Dr. Williams does that. We have been supplying them with whatever assistance they need because we want to make sure that the patients, of course, are kept safe, the staff are kept safe, and it's confined to as much as possible within the hospital. We don't want it to continue to spread. So whatever assistance the hospital requires, of course, we will be there to uh, help support them to, uh, to protect lives and to make sure that we contain the spread as much as we can within the hospital. But part of it's coming in from the community, as you know. That's why some of the restrictions have been placed on the London area. But we are continuing to monitor it very closely on a daily basis. The supplementary question. Speaker, Dr. Mackey has said that for the past nine days, 50% of the cases in our region have been linked to the LHSC outbreak, with transmission occurring within the hospital. Six hospital wards are now confirmed to have cases, including organ transplants, cardiovascular surgery, palliative and orthopedics. This has once again forced the cancellation of non-urgent surgeries and procedures. Speaker, London was already at the bottom of the list for the longest surgical wait times in Ontario, particularly for joint replacements. This cancellation is devastating to those whose surgeries were postponed during wave one and, and those who are still waiting for their procedures to be booked. What is this government's plan to ensure that access to surgeries is restored for Londoners and to prevent any future surgical cancellations at LHSC once this outbreak is under control? Minister Health. Well, clearly, in order to be able to proceed with these surgeries and other procedures that had to be postponed during wave one, it's going to be very important to get this COVID uh, outbreak under control. That's why we have been in touch with, uh, with Dr. Mackey. We will continue to be. We will supply the hospital with whatever other resources they need. If it's more personal protective equipment, they know that it's available on a daily basis. That can be ordered if they need more human resources, if they need more staff, we'll help supply more staff there. But clearly we need to get that done in order to be able to proceed with those surgeries. We know that there's a backlog. We know that we need to proceed with them because if, if you lose a loved one to COVID, that's tragic, but it's equally tragic if you lose a loved one because they haven't received their cancer or cardiac surgery on time. So that is a, a key part of our fall preparedness plan is to keep those surgeries going, but we need to deal with the COVID outbreak first, and then we will move as quickly as we can to get back on track and dealing with those backlogs.